I don't give a frick. It's time to end this I don't give a frick phase of mine. Look at this, hair, unkept, overgrown, skin. A bit gnarly if I do say so myself. Physique, muffin top. Very little muscle definition, gain of fat. And I'm in no way trying to body shame. God makes each one of us perfectly, so that's not my intention. But I do want to maximize what the good Lord has given us. It is time to end this I don't give a frick phase. This season in my life, uh, I'm kind of used to it. Usually after every bodybuilding show, I pretty much, I let myself go. And this is another one of those seasons. Well, I've had enough of this I don't give a frick phase and it's time to make some change. Let's flip a switch if you will. First things first, I purchased so many pieces of camera equipment, I need to use it. Simply put, I wanna use it more. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up with making more videos, taking more pictures. That is the goal here. Excuse me. Also, I gotta change this physique. It's out of hand. It doesn't feel good. Low confidence, you know the drill. I haven't been to the gym in three months, since October. And I finally stepped foot in it last week. Felt super uncomfortable, so it's, it's a change. So for all you New Year's resolutionists, you feel uncomfortable at the gym, it's totally okay. I've been going to the gym since 2003 and I feel very self-conscious right now. I should know better, no one really cares, but it does take a few weeks to develop that hobby, that clockwork routine. If there's one piece of advice I could give to you, you New Year resolutionists at the gym, do your thing, start from humble beginnings, no one's looking at you, just go. I'll keep track of my gym experience with you guys and hopefully we can do this together. Community, baby. Also, a huge, huge shout out to my amazing wife who just finished OT school. I've seen her work so hard. It's cliche, but blood, sweat, and tears. I've literally seen my wife just sacrifice all these things to make her dream come true of being the best occupational therapist that she could be. So this Friday, is her hooding ceremony, which signifies her finishing her master's degree. I am so, so proud of my baby. So shout out to her. I love you so much, baby. I, I'm making it a point to bring this camera, this Sony A6500, my Sony RX100, more frequently to places I go, while at the same time maintaining balance of staying in the moment. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. God bless you guys. Let's do this. Woo! So with that being said, let's freaking go!